Stents for glaucoma drainage, is it worth it? Well, Jan, it depends on the health of the optic nerve, how much uh, eye damage you have in your visual fields, how consistently high your eye pressure is, and what, are, what other alternatives you may be introducing to see if you can neutralize some of this vascular disease. So it's a hard question to answer. I think that if you're in dire straits and you have lost some of your visual field, it's something to consider as a way to open up the circulation. There are some other things that you can do in an integrative way that can also, in a more non-invasive way, improve your circulation. And let's go through the list. Number one, Jan, is doing, if you can, 10 minutes of jumping gently on a rebounder every day. That helps the lymphatic function. And that has been shown to bring your eye pressure down. Number two, making sure you're getting enough of the healthy nutrients for optic nerve. Let's run through the list. Ginkgo, fantastic for vascular health. Omega-3 fatty acids. Bilberry, great for retinal circulation. Taurine, a fabulous amino acid in small dosages, also very helpful for building healthy optic nerve health. Number three, getting some acupuncture and or craniosacral therapy. Because in both of those modalities, in craniosacral, you're addressing the fluid body, the flow, the lymph system, the cerebral spinal fluid, and you're getting some vasomotion in those tiny blood vessels in the eye that's going to push the blood flow and the circulation in a healthier way. In acupuncture, it's the meridians that map to the eyes. Well, many of the meridians that map go to the liver, gallbladder, spleen, large intestine, colon. So if you start getting some acupuncture and you're boosting those meridians, it's going to help reduce the eye pressure. There's an herbal formula called col coleus for forskilla. Coleus, C-O-L-E-U-S, check it out. The Dr. Google has put up a couple of research studies on coleus and the possible benefits of bringing down eye pressure. And last but not least, one of the trends I have seen in glaucoma is that if a person is able to do some kind of a cleanse or a fast, working with a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor, a lot of times this will really do two things, reduce inflammation in the eyes and the body and improve your circulation. When that happens, you're getting better nutrient absorption in those tiny blood vessels in the eyes, and it's going to boost your eye health. So Jan, there's a lot of things that you can do instead of the stents. If you're facing you know, a serious situation or maybe a serious moment, and you need to do it short term, to me, holistic medicine is using both the allopathic and also the uh, alternative side, both. And uh, there are times when you need to do the allopathic method if it is warranted.